सी आई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फॉर क्लास एट लेट्स लिसन टू चैप्टर एट कंपेयरिंग क्वांटिटीज पेज नंबर वन ट्वेंटी फोर एट पॉइंट फाइव सेल्स टैक्स और वैल्यू एडेड टैक्स और गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज टैक्स द टीचर शोड द क्लास अ बिल इन विच The following heads were written: bill number, date, menu. Then there are five columns: serial number, item, quantity, rate, amount. Below quantity we have bill amount plus ST five percent. Below item, after leaving a blank box we have total. There is an image of a teacher. on the left side of the page she says sales tax or st is charged by the government on the sale of an item it is collected by the shopkeeper from the customer and given to the government this is therefore always on the selling price of an item and is added to the total value of the bill there is another type of tax which is included in the prices known as value added tax from july 1 2017 government of india introduced gst which stands for goods and services tax which is levied on supply of goods or services or both example 8 finding sales tax The cost of a pair of roller skates at a shop was rupees four fifty. The sales tax charged was five percent. Find the bill amount. Solution: On rupees one hundred, the tax paid was rupees five. On rupees four fifty, the tax paid would be is equal to rupees five by hundred into four fifty is equal to rupees twenty two point five zero. bill amount is equal to cost of item plus sales tax is equal to rupees 450 plus rupees 22.50 is equal to rupees 472.50 example 9 value added tax or vat wahida bought an air cooler for rupees 3300 including a tax of 10% find the price of the air cooler before vat was added solution the price includes the vat that is the value added tax thus a 10% vat means if the price without vat is rupees 100 then the price including vat is rupees 110 now when price including vat is rupees 110 original price is rupees 100 hence when price including tax is rupees 3300 the original price is equal to 100 by 110 into 3300 is equal to rupees 3000 example 10 salim bought an article of rupees 784 which included gst of 12% what is the price of the article before gst was added solution let original price of the article be rupees 100 gst is equal to 12% price after gst is included is equal to rupees 100 plus 12 is equal to rupees 112 when the selling price is rupees 112 then original price is equal to rupees 100 when the selling price is rupees 784 then original price is equal to 100 by 12 into 784 is equal to rupees 700 page number 125 think discuss and write 1 two times a number is a 100% increase in the number if we take half the number what would be the decrease in percent 2 by what percent is rupees 2000 less than rupees 2400 is it the same as the percent by which 
is more than 2000? Exercise 8.2 A man got a 10% increase in his salary. If his new salary is rupees 154,000, find his original salary. 2. On Sunday, 845 people went to the zoo. On Monday, only 169 people went. What is the percent decrease in the people visiting the zoo on Monday? 3. A shopkeeper buys 80 articles for Rs. 2400 and sells them for a profit of 16%. Find the selling price of 1 article. 4. The cost of an article was Rs. 15,500. Rs. 450 were spent on its repairs. If it is sold for a profit of 15%, find the selling price of the article. 5. A VCR and TV were bought for Rs. 8,000 each. The shopkeeper made a loss of 4% on the VCR and a profit of 8% on the TV. Find the gain or loss percent on the whole transaction. 6. During a sale, a shop offered a discount of 10% on the marked prices of all the items. What would a customer have to pay for a pair of jeans marked at Rs. 1450 and two shirts marked at Rs. 850 each? 7. A milkman sold two of his buffaloes for Rs. 20,000 each. On one, he made a gain of 5% and on the other, a loss of 10%. Find his overall gain or loss. Hint, find CP of each. 8. The price of a TV is Rs 13,000. The sales tax charged on it is at the rate of 12%. Find the amount that Vinod will have to pay if he buys it. 9. Arun bought a pair of skates at a sale where the discount given was 20%. If the amount he pays is rupees 1600 find the marked price 10 i purchased a hair dryer for rupees 5400 including 8% vat find the price before vat was added 11 an article was purchased for rupees 1239 including gst of 18% find the price of the article before GST was added. 8.6. Compound interest You might have come across statements like one-year interest for FD or fixed deposit in the bank at 9% per annum or savings account with interest at 5% per annum. Page number 126 There is an image of a young girl on the left side of the page she says, interest is the extra money paid by institutions like banks or post offices on money deposited or kept with them. Interest is also paid by people when they borrow money. We already know how to calculate simple interest. Example 10. A sum of rupees 10,000 is borrowed at a rate of interest. 15% per annum for 2 years. Find the simple interest on this sum and the amount to be paid at the end of 2 years. Solution On Rs 100, interest charged for 1 year is Rs 15. So, on Rs 10,000, interest charged is equal to 15 by 100 into 10,000 is equal to Rs 1500. Interest for 2 years is equal to Rs 1500 into 2, which is equal to Rs 3000. Amount to be paid at the end of 2 years is equal to Principal plus Interest is equal to Rs 10,000 plus 3000 is equal to Rs 13,000. Try these. Find interest and amount to be paid on Rs 15,000 at 5% per annum 
after two years. There is a conversation given here. A young boy says, My father has kept some money in the post office for three years. Every year, the money increases as more than the previous year. A young girl says, We have some money in the bank. Every year, some interest is added to it, which is shown in the passbook. This interest is not the same each year it increases. There is an image of a teacher who tells them, Normally, the interest paid or charged is never simple. The interest is calculated on the amount of the previous year. This is known as interest compounded or compound interest or CI. Let us take an example and find the interest year by year. Each year are sum or principal changes. Calculating compound interest. A sum of rupees 20,000 is borrowed by Hina for two years at an interest of 8% compounded annually. Find the compound interest or CI and the amount she has to pay at the end of two years. Asnam asked the teacher whether this means that they should find the interest year by year. The teacher said yes and asked him to use the following steps. 1. Find the simple interest or SI for one year. Let the principal for the first year be P1. Here, P1 is equal to rupees 20,000. SI1 is equal to SI at 8% per annum for first year is equal to rupees 20,000 into 8 divided by 100 is equal to rupees 1600. 2. Then find the amount which will be paid or received. This becomes principal for the next year. Amount at the end of first year is equal to P1 plus SI1 is equal to rupees 20,000 plus rupees 1600 is equal to rupees 21,600 is equal to P2 or principal for second year. Page number 127. 3. Again, find the interest on this sum for another year. SI2 is equal to SI at 8% PA for second year is equal to rupees 21,600 into 8 divided by 100 is equal to rupees 1728. 4. Find the amount which has to be paid or received at the end of second year. Amount at the end of second year is equal to P2 plus SI2 is equal to rupees 21,600 plus rupees 1,728 is equal to rupees 23,328. Total interest given is equal to rupees 1600 plus rupees 1728 is equal to rupees 3328. Rita asked whether the amount would be different for simple interest. The teacher told her to find the interest for two years and see for herself. SI for two years is equal to rupees 20,000 into 8 into 2 divided by 100 is equal to rupees 3200. Rita said that when compound interest was used, Hina would pay rupees 128 more. Let us look at the difference between simple interest and compound interest. We start with rupees 100. Try completing the chart. Here, we have a table with two columns, under simple interest and under compound interest. First year, principal is rupees 100 and is same under compound interest and simple interest. Interest at 10% is rupees 10 and is same for simple interest and compound interest. Year end amount is rupees 110 and is same for simple and compound interest. Second year, principal is 100 under simple interest and 110 under compound interest. 
interest at 10% is rupees 10 under simple interest and 11 under compound interest. Year end amount is rupees 110 plus 10 is equal to 120 under simple interest and rupees 121 under compound interest. Third year, principal is 100 under simple interest and 121 under compound interest. Interest at 10% is rupees 10 under simple interest and 12.10 under compound interest. Year end amount is 120 plus 10 is equal to rupees 130 under simple interest and 133.10 rupees under compound interest. Which means you pay interest on the interest accumulated till then. Note that in 3 years, interest earned by simple interest is equal to 130 minus 100 is equal to rupees 30. Whereas, interest earned by compound interest is equal to rupees 133.10 minus 100 is equal to rupees 33.10. Note also that the principle remains the same under simple interest, while it changes year after year under compound interest. Page number 128. 8.7. Deducing a formula for compound interest. Zubeda asked her teacher, Is there an easy way to find compound interest? The teacher said, There is a shorter way of finding compound interest. Let us try to find it. Suppose P1 is the sum on which interest is compounded annually at a rate of R% percent per annum. Let P1 is equal to rupees 5000 and R is equal to 5. Then by the steps mentioned above, 1. SI1 is equal to rupees 5000 into 5 into 1 divided by 100 or SI is equal to rupees P1 into R into 1 divided by 100. So, A1 is equal to rupees 5000 plus 5000 into 5 into 1 divided by 100 or A1 is equal to P1 plus SI1 is equal to P1 plus P1R divided by 100 is equal to rupees 5000 bracket open 1 plus 5 by 100 bracket closed is equal to P2 is equal to P1 bracket open 1 plus R by 100 bracket closed is equal to P2. 2. SI2 is equal to rupees 5000 bracket open 1 plus 5 by 100 bracket closed into 5 into 1 by 100 or SI2 is equal to P2 into R into 1 divided by 100 is equal to rupees 5000 into 5 by 100 bracket open 1 plus 5 by 100 bracket closed is equal to P1 bracket open 1 plus R by 100 bracket closed into R by 100 is equal to P1R divided by 100 bracket open 1 plus R by 100 bracket closed. A2 is equal to rupees 5000 bracket open 1 plus 5 by 100 bracket closed plus rupees 5000 into 5 divided by 100 bracket open 1 plus 5 by 100 bracket closed. A2 is equal to P2 plus SI2 is equal to rupees 5000 bracket open 1 plus 5 by 100 bracket closed bracket open 1 plus 5 by 100 bracket closed is equal to P1 bracket open 1 plus R by 100 bracket closed plus P1 R by 100 bracket open 1 plus R by 100 bracket closed is equal to rupees 500 bracket open 1 plus 5 by 100 bracket closed raised to the power 2 is equal to P3. P1 
bracket open, 1 plus R by 100, bracket closed, bracket open, 1 plus R by 100, bracket closed, is equal to P1, bracket open, 1 plus R by 100, bracket closed, raised to the power 2, is equal to P3. Proceeding in this way, the amount at the end of n years will be A n is equal to P1 bracket open 1 plus R by 100 bracket closed raised to the power n. Or we can say A is equal to P bracket open 1 plus R by 100 bracket closed raised to the power n. Page number 129. So Zubeda said, but using this, we get only the formula for the amount to be paid at the end of n years and not the formula for compound interest. Aruna at once said that we know Ci is equal to A minus P. So, we can easily find the compound interest too. Example 11. Find Ci on rupees 12,600 for 2 years at 10% per annum Compound it annually. Solution We have A is equal to P bracket open 1 plus R by 100 bracket closed raised to the power N where principal or P is equal to rupees 12,600 rate or R is equal to 10 number of years or N is equal to 2 is equal to rupees 12,600 bracket open, 1 plus 10 by 100, bracket closed, raised to the power 2, is equal to, rupees 12,600, bracket open, 11 by 10, bracket closed, raised to the power 2, is equal to, rupees 12,600, into 11 by 10, into 11 by 10, is equal to rupees, 15,246. CI is equal to, a minus P is equal to rupees 15,246 minus rupees 12,600 is equal to rupees 2646. Try these. 1. Find CI on a sum of rupees 8,000 for 2 years at 5% per annum compounded annually. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 8. Program Coordinator Dr. Rajesh Kumar Nimesh Narrator Akash Ahuja Technical Coordinator Batilang Lingdo Sound Recordist Mayank Kumar Assistance in Production Ruchi Sharma Directed and produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary. And this program is presented to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India.